I was asked recently about how to make different tracks tighter rhythmically to other tracks such as drum loops. Let's take a look at a technique using our sidechain input of a noise gate. So let's listen to our drums. We'll say we have a kick track and also a drum loop. And we have a chord track that's triggering pad shop. So say if I wanted to take this pad sound and have it be the same rhythm as our, as our drums. So I'm going to select my chord track and I'm just gonna drag it down to the MIDI track to have those MIDI events on the event. I'm going to select that particular track, click on the edit channel settings, and we're gonna make sure that the channel strip is visible. Go to the noise gate, which is defaults to the left slot, activate the noise gate. I'm gonna just tweak a couple of the parameters here for my release and attack. But most importantly, I'm gonna activate the side chain input. Once that has been turned on, we could go to another track such as our drum track. And we'll say in the sends for that drum track, we could use this to be the input for the side chain. So we set the destination there, turn it on, and we set the amount of that side chain. So now as we play, we can hear the rhythm change. And if I wanted to incorporate the drum loop, we'll go ahead and bypass that. I'll do the same exact procedure, select the sidechain input in the send, activate the send, and turn the send level up. And I could do this for both tracks at the same time. So I could have multiple tracks being sent out to the sidechain input. So we'll go ahead and listen to this. And I'm going to be a little more creative with automation. So if I wanted to vary between those two, I'm going to go to my drum loop track, right click on the send level here. And I'm gonna say, show the send level automation track. So that automatically opens it directly here. I'm gonna turn on my snap and set it to bar. And what I want to do is to just adjust the automation so I could select the range with my range tool and I could adjust the amount of the automation by grabbing the upper center line. I could also just select the range of those two bars of that pattern and hit command or control D to duplicate that automation pattern. So now as we want to listen to it, we'll hear it change the rhythmic pattern based upon the automation. This isn't limited to just MIDI tracks, but any audio source. So instead of spending a lot of time tweaking the different rhythmic elements of performance, try using the sidechain input for the noise gate to align different tracks rhythmically. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.